from 19 whatever that year I kept I wanted real things and this is in Quincy Illinois where I grew up and started all this so I've been playing that clarinet ever since well you have to have good instruction in the beginning I didn't I was doing what I wanted to do but finally in junior high school someplace probably about ninth grade I got a teacher Benny to at Quincy College and he corrected all the stuff that I was doing wrong he died before I could tell him thank you he left town 57 when I came over to Champaign I've been to the camp over here might have been the biggest break because I didn't have to compete with other 30 other clarinet players. It was the six top ones, or four or five. And I got to play first chair for one half of the concert and got over to the campus and started playing. I guess I haven't quit since. When I was teaching, that's part of, of my teaching. Because I'd play a symphony rehearsal the night before, whether it was a C, and come to school the next day all and through. I want my kids to be that good while they're junior high school. I've had some of those kids maybe for five years and they could play pretty decent music, which was the fun of playing, playing good music. I, I, I grew up wanting to be a, a teacher who could do these things to enhance my life. It's important. It's what I've done in the past. I guess I'll still keep doing it as long as the fingers keep working, and my roller decks up here works. It's a way I can relate to people. It's just a, a means to fulfill my life. Most musicians are there because they have something to give. And the last thing you oftentimes think that you think about is what you're getting from the audience. I mean, I end up playing with my eyes closed 95% of the time. If you've seen me play, and then I have to peek to see who's looking. No. <laughs> I play for fun. If you're not having, if you don't enjoy it, even if you've worked at it, you're missing something. <laughs>